Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inks and I'm from IGS Electronics. Today we are going to continue with L Tyco L510S inverter drive. Well, we're going to set up the drive today in the remote control using 2i control and 3i control and also we're going to be playing with potentiometer. If you missed the last video where we set the drive in a local mode and did a commissioning, factory reset and order tune, that video is going to be in the description below. Also, all the related uh, manuals and uh, other related videos, parts, and anything that I could think that could help you in any other way, it's going to be in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The first station is wired in. Let me show you what it's going to be looking like. And that will look like a so. So what we're gonna have in here, we're gonna have a run forwards button, we're gonna have a run reverse button, we're gonna have a jog button, and also potentiometer. And this e stop, and this we're gonna have this e stop in here. This e stop is more or less not gonna work as an e stop, but it's a sort of a halfish emergency where it's gonna uh, uh, close the, the drive to stop. Uh, not cause uh, run drive to stop uh, very very quickly or whatever pre frequency you will uh, wherever the, the acceleration speed you will preset in the drive to uh, uh, to for him to stop in event an emergency. So how is all set up? Uh, let's go through the wiring. We instead of uh, usually we use a normally closed contact, and we actually this time we're using a normally uh, open contact because it works a little bit differently for for this drive. So what we did in here, as you can see, we're using a four S's, which is a four inputs. Input one and input two. Input one is run forwards, and input two is run a reverse as default. But input uh, three and input four is not. So they are set as multi frequency setups. And we not we don't want that. We want one of them to be working as a jog, another one to work as a, a, a more or less a call like a quick stop, so emergency stop ish. So uh, I'll get to that parameters in a minute. Let me first run you through the cabling. So the the force twenty four volts coming into the normally open contact in here, which is going to be the first switch is going to be our uh, sort of a a, a quick stop. Oh, what's it called actually? It's in the manual, it is called a rapid stop. So basically, this rapid stop uh, so signal in here will, will will send the signal back to S4, which is an digital input 4, and it will uh, rapidly stop drive like so. If you see, it clicks yes on it. After that, uh, from the bottom above, from the where the source comes in, it sort of distributes the power to all the, uh, the normally open contacts. And the first normally open contact, as I said, S1, it's going to be our run forwards, S2 is going to be run in a reverse, and S3 is going to be running in jog mode, in the jog. And for this drive, jog does not need the run. He runs independently, so by just clicking that, he will uh, run uh, in, well, jog the whichever way you set up. Uh, there's two ways you can set up. You can set up, uh, you can actually run another, another switch if you wish to. You can jog it forwards, and you can jog it reverse if you wish to as well. But we're only going to be using that for jog forwards. And then we have then we have a potentiometer which is rated at 10 kilo ohms and that will need to be set up in a terminals uh, in here between 10 volts AVI and a ground make sure that uh, that is the, the case and in the parameter uh, which I'm going to show you in a minute in the parameter you need to make sure that is set at 2 volts as well so let me put the cover on and we go from there for this station to function the way we just set up in, in uh, as you can see the cover is on now, uh, for this kind of uh, uh, setup we need to make some changes. The first, first change we need to make sure that we are in a remote mode run, which if you are running from default you will have a no problem for that. But if you're not, you need to make sure the parameter 0, 0, uh, 0, 002 main run source is on 1 and parameter 0, 0, 0, 005. It is a set main frequency source is set to two. If you are using a uh, potentiometer like I do in here for voltage, so you need to make sure those two parameters, parameters is the first ones you need to make sure those are set. And the next one we need to set is we need to change the S uh, two uh, S three and S four around. So S. Uh, uh, three is our jog button. So to do that, you need to go. If you want to understand a bit more, if you go to the page paragraph 412, 
as you can see down here you go you you can you have all these selections that you can choose for what what those uh, uh, inputs is going to be doing so what we need to do we need to change the s3 to a, a jog forward you can even have a jog reverse if you wish to and all other bits that you can see down but the one we're going to be setting we just want to jog it a forwards in there so what we're going to do we're going to go to enter not enter uh, uh, which parameter that was zero zero you need to go to three so uh, group three two three and then we need to go parameter three it's going to be for our now parameter two it's going to be for our a uh, jog setup as you're going to see i've got six it's uh, selected in there that's basically means you programmed your inputs as you can see it again my jog forwards it will be six so when i activate a, a terminal input a three it will jog it so and obviously then uh from for the uh quick stop i changed up uh, the terminal input four to 14. And as you can see in here it's be, it's called as a rapid stop it's basically that rapid spot stop it's just basically going to shut the drive down in the event of a, some form of emergency if you uh, could call it like that so uh, basically as, as i said it's going to show you that es and it will shut down and not going to let anything else work in work unless that is being fixed and to adjust that uh, speed uh, how fast it stops we need to go to parameter called zero zero and uh, uh, zero, uh, zero zero seventeen so let's change that uh nah. let's go to 17 and that's the uh, the acceleration 2 and enter in there and this is pretty much what how fast it would stop and that would be too way too oh way too long stop for me so we're just going to lower that down to about half a second so we just want that system to stop in half a second there we go so that's only in event, in event mention. And the next parameter is an 18, where you can determine what your uh, jog frequency is going to be. And mine is a uh, default is two. Mine is uh, I'll just set that to five. And jog frequency actually has got its own acceleration and deacceleration times. And that is in parameter 19 and 20. And jog uh, half a second. Oop. And 20. In half a second as you can see both of those uh, frequencies has been uh, jog frequencies has been set to half a second so and that's pretty much it's all you need to really do is uh, to make sure that is uh, being uh, set and you pretty much are going to be ready to go so the only thing is left now is demonstrate how that works and to run it there we go the station is ready so let's run it uh, forwards there we go as you can see now it doesn't have a frequency so because my potentiometer is standing in zero and it sort of puts the drive in a ready mode sort of but not running anything so by moving potentiometer it runs let's test out each stop there we go and it will uh, stop the drive and as you can see no switches is gonna work or do anything so uh you need to make sure that the uh, e-stop is uh, disconnected to make sure you are pretty much ready to go and to, again if you are if you are in re re forward mode if you are trying to click uh, a reverse mode it will not it sort of locks himself out and it says now if you will release it as you can see down there it shows now that i want to go in reverse but uh, i can't because of uh, things that's going on so by removing that button as you can see in here which way it's going to be spinning from there on so uh here we go as soon as you release the reverse it will say it will say it's back to a forward run even though it still needs the signal for it here we go so that's that and also we've got a uh, jog button which is at five hertz which i already show you how to uh, set that one up so don't forget you get your potentiometer has to be at 10 kilo ohm and that will be when it comes down to two wire control let's get on with the three wire control as for the three wire control we there's not much changes that we require except for the wiring and i shall show you that now so the station now is gonna look like that 
So uh, we will have a start, a stop a button, basically it says run forward, but by selecting the switch, select the switch on for the reverse, it will go in reverse. And also we have a potentiometer in here. And again, we have kept our rapid stop signal as well in S4. Uh, and to go into the three wire control, you need to go to the parameter 04 and you need to select that one to let's just show you that to two so that will uh, automatically will reconfigure the s1 2 and 3 to work for the three wire control and there is a small diagram in the manual where you can where you're able to see that i um, cut that one out yeah but you were able to see how that wiring would look but i will show you that now on uh, on the live wiring that we've done in here so here we go so let's just get in a position so again we have a uh, number one coming in here which is our 24 volt signal coming to a uh, rapid stop uh, switch a rapid stop switch goes to s4 which is pre-programmed to be rapid spot stop and from there on it, it goes to the stop button and then it goes through the stop button and then the signal from the stop button goes back to s2 and from there, uh, and, and, and from this end, uh, it still carries on to a start, a start button, and start button sends the signal back to S1. And then we have a, a position a selector switch, which will go to S3. And all of those are fully programmed into the system. So that's pretty much, that's, that's how the wiring would work. And don't forget, you still have S5 left if you wish to have a jog button or whatever else you find that it would be useful for you that option is still there available so let me put the cover on and i'll show you how that works here we go that's all closed off so there we go that's the station so uh to start we just put into the start mode as you can see again it's looking for a set point and by doing the potentiometer it will uh go whatever the speed you want it to be and then by flipping a, uh, a reverse a switch, it will go into reverse. And again, it's indicated which way it goes by uh, the lights on a digital screen. And look what happens when you put the quick stop now. Not quick stop, but rapid stop. So you put it in, into rapid stop. And now you can see the error is running. So if you remove it, as you can see, it's not, doing it. it's not, not going away. Because it's requesting for you to stop the drive. So this is very good if you are in a, in a stage, sort of a once of some form of a confirmation for the reset. So by clicking S, uh, oh no, S by a stop, it will uh, reset the whole thing and you'll be ready to go again. So that will be it, ladies and gentlemen, for this uh, uh, two-wire, three-wire control. Hopefully that gets you where you want to get and uh, gives you good ideas how to set your control station up uh, for whatever application you are using if you like that video please smash that like if you didn't smash the dislike comment below any questions and, uh, and uh, any other comments you would like to a uh, post in the in the comment section below definitely do so any questions you ask i will answer them as soon as possible and as accurate as i can other than that ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video